Hey, hey guys, how are you? So let's talk about web browser. Somebody said to me in a recent video, can you speak about the best current web browsers? Firefox has lost 50 million users in the last two years, me included. I switched to Brave, a Google clone, which was superb, but now experiences hanging when using online banking. No updates available. Finally, if Google censors 97% of the web, how can they be trusted as a resources. Well, I don't know if that characterization is true in terms of how much they censor. Um, I don't want to get political here, but generally speaking, I think censorship is not a good thing. History teaches that. Anyway, that aside, I think that uh, in terms of uh, Google censoring, um, in terms of most subjects, I don't think that that's a concern, so I wouldn't get too hung up on that, number one. Number two, uh, browsers, yes, they are more buggy these days. I'm not sure what the current state of things are. I tend to gravitate towards Chrome since it's the most widely used. So if you're a developer, you have to think about what's the most widely used browsers out there so that you can code against that because that's what your people visiting your sites or your web apps are gonna see, right? They're gonna be using Chrome most of the time. And so you have to code against it, no matter what its limitations may or may not be. I don't know, uh, but, but that's just normal. Let me tell you, uh, back in the old days, back in the 90s, that was a real nightmare where you had to recode your site for browser A and browser B. It was crazy, Internet Explorer versus Netscape. And uh, Thank God. And that went on for years and years. There was all these different strategies you had to implement, you could implement to account for the differences in terms of how the web browsers rendered client-side code, HTML, later on CSS, later on, well, JavaScript. Um, yeah, anyhow, that's another story I won't get into it. So yeah, I would just concentrate on whatever, whatever the primary browser is used today, warts and all, and your job as a developer is to adapt to uh, the limitations of said browser. What else can you do? And that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video useful. I'm Uncle Steph.